Looking at the map of the Sudan, we notice that our excavation site, Naga, is the southernmost on the historic map of ancient Sudan. And Naga, 130 kilometers northeast of Khartoum, far away from the Nile, in the savannah, it was a royal city. We started excavating Naga in 1995, and we have excavated several temples. We have in Naga temples which follow in their plan and their appearance Egyptian models. For instance, the Temple of Amun with an avenue of ram statues of the god Amun in front of the entrance. Just a few hundred meters away to the west, the temple of the Meroitic god Apedemak, represented as a lion. And the temple of Apedemak has a ground plan consisting of just one room, nothing else. This temple type is unknown in Egypt. This is a typical Meroitic feature of architecture. And in front of the Lion Temple of Apedemak, there is a building called, until recent times, the Roman Kiosk. But nowadays, thanks to our work, we know that this so-called Roman Kiosk, which we call nowadays the Hathor Chapel, has been built at the same time as the Apedemak temple nearby, and at the same time as the temple of Amun. All these three temple types, very different temple types, have been erected at the same time. They don't show a historical development, no. They are a proof of the intention of the Meroitic kings and queens to show the global spirit of their nation. They knew the world. They had political and economic relations to Egypt, to Greece, to the powers of the Near East, later on to the Roman Empire, and they got inspirations from these civilizations in the north. But they didn't copy. They took just elements out of the other civilizations and combined them to something new with a typical African undertone. And this is the characteristic of Naga in particular, but of the Meroitic civilization in general, to be the bridge, the cultural link between Africa in the south and the Near East and the Mediterranean in the north. Music